Hello guys, welcome back. Today I want to give you my opinion about the front sprocket change to 15 teeth on the Benelli TRK502X, that is my bike. I'm going to talk about it. At the same time, I will give you riding examples. So, all of these cars are turning left, so I'm going to swiftly to overtake them. <laughs> As you can see, even with 15 teeth sprocket, the bike has a lot of acceleration. That was a little cheeky move for me, but I wanted to show you precisely the acceleration on the TRK. Please note, I'm riding solo only with the top case, so very low weight. I'm going to do a little high speed road, then uh, also a bit of town. And then later more examples, even with a full bike and billion, etc. So to me this change was, was very good, it suits my riding style. As you know I'm a quite relaxed rider and I love, and I love to travel on my motorcycle. Don't get me wrong, the original cheering for the TRK-X is very nice. A lot of torque, but it is really short for those long distance trips, especially if you use dual carriageway or highways. As you can see, I still can do everything in 6th gear, with an empty bike of course. The GRK like this is very similar to the stock road version TRK502. TRKX, I mean, since it uses 42 teeth rear sprocket, and since I'm using 15 teeth front sprocket, it roughly equivalates to 41.5 rear teeth. So this change lowers the RPMs at the same velocity by 500 RPMs. at 100 km per hour it is 5000 rpm on my previous TRK502 I had a 14 39 sprocket configuration so the rear teeth was 39 and that was a really really long gear setup it was very nice on the highway but terrible in town or with a peeling on a modern road so I thought that the 15 front teeth again equivalent to 41.5 rear sprocket would be the sweet spot for me and it is kinda <laughs> let me explain while riding solo and low weight it's awesome check out the acceleration from the red sign it's very good I'm gonna pull third gear a little bit just to show you about half throttle nice of course with a much heavier bike this wouldn't be as fast <laughs> so this I'm getting to the center region of Lisbon try to show you how this works how this sprocket works in town bike feels very fast off the lights I'm gonna try to show you there you go so that those those that that first instant start I have to use a little bit of clutch to, to get going then it's nice I'm already at 6 gear at 50 km per hour very smooth. That's why the TRK is a very economical bike fuel-wise, if you ride slow and go easy on the throttle of course. smooth 
Okay, so I give you another example now with a pillion and with a loaded bike on a very slopey road, national road. So to get going, as always, you need to use a little bit of clutch. And of course the gears are different, so you, you need to use more of the first gear for a little bit longer, and second, and third, and so on. We're going to have a, an intersection ahead, it is a very good example, because it is uh, in a slope. Remember, I have a very fully full bike with a pillion. Okay, here is the stop sign, I'm going to stop. All right, so let's go. Clutch, 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 and you're going. So it's not as easy as before, but still, it is doable. You just need to be careful not to let the engine die on that immediately starting when you start to move. So this national road here ahead is a good example because it has a, across the river has a good climb. This is the area of Vila Velha de Rodão. I'm gonna show you this in very detail in the upcoming video, of course. This video today is just to show you how the 15 teeth works. I'm in third gear. This is a very decent climb. So I never feel the, the TRK. Oh damn, I hate when cars do this. A lot of cars do this in Portugal. They, they cross over the middle line and go across the, the, the traffic. This is very dangerous for us motorcyclists. And I get nuts with it. So, how was I saying? Uh, doing this in third, fourth gear. I never feel the lack of power. But of course with the loaded and with pillion bike you need to use more the gears still I never feel that the engine is in, in effort you know so this setup is good if you like to go slow and enjoy the scenery relax while riding at the same time that you have a decent very decent fuel economy all right so another example with a fully loaded bike and with a pillion on a narrow road with iris slopes still decent but when you stop and when you get going again that's the tricky part check out the view magnificent isn't it okay let's go again clutch 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 and we're going really need to be careful not to burn the clutch while doing this so low revs while using the clutch only accelerate more when you release the, the clutch completely this is very important if you let this, the clutch slip it's going to warm up overheat and then it's going to expand okay we have a tight corner here and then a very nice climb second year with the original setup of the TRKX, I will probably do this in third gear, no problem. That corner before. The bike like this is very similar to the road version TRK 542, like I said before. It's just a little bit longer, one two percent, and I really like it.
good things. I already explained to you the positive things about this uh, 15 teeth sprocket. The bad things, of course, is when you have a very loaded bike with peeling in town on the, or, or those high slope towns. I'm going to show you an example uh, after this. And of course, off road. In off road, you really need to have short gears. So the stock TRK 502X gearing is good for off road. Okay, in this example is a town in Spain that has very big slopes and I have a very f a fully loaded bike, no peeling this time. Okay, second gear already. I have a stop sign here, so I need to go first gear again. First gear yet. This is a very nasty climb for sure. I'm still in first gear. Okay, second now. Still okay, still okay. Okay, into first. Across this historic area. A little bit of clutch on these very slow maneuvers. But it's still fine. So I recommend you to do this change if you, especially if you ride solo, you can take your top case and side cases and full bike, it's still fine if you ride solo. With the pillion, I don't recommend it, I think you should keep the original setup for sure. Okay, so in the highway, you can see here I'm doing 120-ish, around 6000 RPS, PM, a little bit less. So 500 RPM less than the original setup. And here, even a little bit faster. It's still fine and I still don't feel the engine being overtaxed. So the, the bike like this is very good for keeping up, those, up to those speed limits with no problem and even going with another faster bikes so thanks a lot for watching and see you on the next video